car right here. Good morning, Aquinas. Today is... Good morning, Aquinas. Today is February 7th, 2022, and please stand for the morning prayer and the pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, whose feast day is March 19th, was husband to Mary and often referred to as a foster father to Jesus. He is a patron saint to the Sisters of St. Joseph, the Universal Church, unborn children, fathers, workers, and, in and immigrants. This is the prayer to St. Joseph. Because you were the watchful guardian of the Holy Family, please watch over us, Christ's chosen offspring. Like an alert father, kindly keep from us every taint of error or corruption. From your place of glory on high, come to aid us in our conflict with the power of darkness. St. Joseph, who the infant Jesus so much loved, grant us what we ask. Please assist us, Lord, by the merits of your foster father, St. Joseph, spouse of your most holy mother. May his help gain for us what our own efforts cannot. This we ask through you who live and reign with the God the Father in the union of the Holy Spirit, one God for all the ages. Amen. Let us pray for healing in our community and our world, for the faithful departed, for all those intentions we hold in our hearts and those written in our book of intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join me in the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Basil. St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which we stand. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You can say June student of the month. All right, now we're just gonna call up Mr. Mancini for student of the month. Good morning. Um, so you all weren't here last week, but I know that you were watching diligently from your homerooms. Uh, welcome to the second semester. We're a week in. I hope everyone enjoyed their day Friday. Uh, I know I did. Nothing like a good old fashioned snow day um, for us to, uh, to get excited about. Um, we're going to do students of the month. We have certificates. Uh, we haven't had them for a while, and I, I realize that, but we're going to get back to doing this um, at, <clears throat> at our Monday meetings. So we're going to do December and January students of the month today. I realize that there will be students who are recipients who may not be here in this room this morning. Um, for those of you who hear your name called, if you want to come down after Kumbaya to um, Mr. Hagen's office, we will make sure we get you your certificate. So students of the month for December. Sixth grade students of the month were Stella Duffy and Ty Mall. Seventh grade students of the month, Michael Martell and Andy Wegman and eighth grade students of the month, Leah Brown and Jackson Hobbs. Oh. High school students of the month from the English department in December, Aiden Benoit and Sophia Rates. Fine arts, and you can come down if you're in the room. Fine arts, Jacob Tichenko and Taylor Winheim. Health PE, Kessa Singasi and PJ Wright. Math. Ryan Mazik and Mason Phillips. Science Technology, Michael Cerami and Mariah Thomas. Social Studies Business, McKenna Verhagen and Philip 
Waltorf. Theology, Avery Brinkle and Matt Mansour. And world languages, Kiara Green and Anthony Tata. And our January students of the month. For sixth grade, Genevieve Essieri and Matteo Thompson. For seventh grade, Madeline Henry and Matt O'Neill. For eighth grade, Bridget Thaney and Preston Vu. And our high school students of the month for January, English, Maddie Granger and Nathan Rivellino. Fine Arts, Isabella Moore and Nick Smith. Health and PE, Claudia Farrar Gill. Math, Abby Arthur and Sophia Hartman. Science, Paige Parsons and Madison Wegman. Social Studies, Zanon Colson and Gianna Glasgow. Theology, CJ Azor and Lucy Santangelo. And World Languages, Nadia Dembrowney and Natalie Sheridan. So congratulations to all of our students of the month. Like I said, we're going to uh, make sure we do this diligently now that we got certificates back. So it's all you guys now. Thank you. All right. Good, good morning, Aquinas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. I hope everyone had a great snow day and a great weekend on top of that. Uh, now there's no time to waste, so let's get right into the show. Kenzie, could you get us started with some quick announcements? Yes, so quick sports highlight. Over the weekend, the varsity hockey team beat Geneseo, Avon, and Livonia, so congrats to the hockey. And another sports-related announcement, on Saturday, February 12th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., the boxing program will be sparring for a cause um, to raise money for the Parkinson's Foundation. Doors open at 9.30 a.m., and the admission is $3. Snacks, drinks, and pizza will be available for purchase during the event. Come support the AQ Boxers and help raise money for a great cause and win some prizes. All right, speaking of boxing, the 90th Mission Bouts will be Friday, March 4th at 7 p.m., but doors open at 6. Tickets can be bought in advance in the athletic office. Student tickets are $5 in advance and $7 at the door. In honor of the 90th anniversary of the Mission Bouts, we will have a special appearance by lightweight champion Ray Boom Boom Mancini. This will be an exciting night. Please come support the AQ Boxers. Another sports-related announcement. If you are interested in playing golf for Aquinas this spring, Please plan on attending a 20-minute meeting this, this Thursday, February 10th. The meeting will be held in the Wegman Napier gym lobby and will begin promptly at 3 p.m. Aquinas has a JV and varsity team. The program is open to 7th and tw through 12th graders. See Mr. Detour if you have any questions. Any student interested in possibly playing JV football in the fall should attend an informational meeting on Wednesday, February 16th at 3.30 p.m. in Mr. Ronco's room. If you have any interest, interest at all, please attend this meeting. For more information, please see Coach Candela with any questions. Also, there will be three speed and agility sessions this week, Tuesday from 5.15 to 6.15 p.m., Thursday from 5.15 to 6.15 p.m., and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Also, attention seniors. Are you interested in MCC's Instant Decision Day or have any questions about it? They will be on campus on Tuesday, February 15th to answer your questions and do instant decisions. Those interested should see Mrs. Arino in the Counseling Center. If you are interested in learning more about what it's like to be an officer in the Navy, Jacob Year, class of 2017, will be on campus this Thursday to discuss the ROTC program and will share his personal success story of joining the military and becoming a Naval officer. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Arino to sign up for the presentation. And now up on the screen are the lunches for the week. There they are. And now the birthdays. 
All right, finally, a quick announcement that the middle school theater department is performing Matilda the Musical Junior this Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. right here in the Aquinas Auditorium. Purchase tickets at ai.booktix.com. Tickets are $11 for adults and $8.50 for students and seniors online and $12 for adults and $9 for students and seniors at the door. Aquinas students and staff get in free with ID. Free admission to the children under five. Uh, email mbarber at aquinasinstitute.com with any questions and enjoy the show. All right, well, it looks like we're just about wrapping up. If you want to be interviewed on Kumbaya, talk to me or Lucas to be able to talk about sports, clubs, events, and anything else. All right, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast of the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. See you next week.